You're going to tell me whether you agree or disagree on the idea that the water went through the ground to the town. I know this because, and you're going to tell me what evidence do you have to support that idea. When you're making an evidence-based argument, you are rallying evidence from multiple sources. And this is an important skill for students to have, not just in science, but in social studies and literacy and mathematics. So we've been investigating the town of Mockton. And we've been wondering and investigating the question, what caused the town to flood? In this video, you'll see students weighing ideas and evaluating evidence. They're going to be looking at multiple forms of evidence across an entire unit. In our investigations, we now know that this mountain is made out of... Rocks, sand, and soil. Pebbles, moraine, sand, yeah. And soil, right? It's meaningful for students because they have these activities that are connected to a phenomena. Using the activities and readings and texts and a variety of different pieces of evidence, even their own personal experiences in the natural world, and trying to make sense of that phenomena. Students used different color stickies to show the different types of evidence. We started with drawing our initial models and talking about our own ideas and personal experiences about what we think caused the town to flood. And we came up with three ideas. We have three claims, one where it filled up behind. We have another one where the water went through the ground. And our third claim was that the water made a new path. And we've been using these to help us make some sense while we're collecting evidence on whether we agree or disagree with these ideas. At the beginning, we really focused on students using their own personal experience as a way to support or disprove the claims that were being created. So me and Andrew were using those tools and we pushed the water off the concrete and so then it soaked inside the soil. I'm thinking it should go right here. Can you explain why? Well, because if it went in the agree, it would be, it went in the new path. It's not, because it says like, it says on top of the ground, not basically like under the ground. So, so that's evidence to support that it didn't go on top of the ground, that it went under the ground. And then as students built their knowledge, they started using other pieces of evidence in the experiments that they've done, the videos that we were watching, the text that we were reading. That was red. So you have some text evidence um, that said, can you summarize what it said for me? What does it say that? This group of scientists thought that the dam was be when the dam was being built next to a glacier meringue, that it would cause water to lead through small rocks and sand very easily, but it did really kind of hard and easy. So we didn't know where to put this. So they have some text evidence that they're not sure if it proves or disproves the idea that water went through the ground. Who thinks it's in agree? That this one, proves that idea? One, two, three, 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 four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Students were able to go to other pieces of evidence to help support this text and what was meant by easily. Students were going to the experiment that we had done to talk about the earth materials and whether the water flow was easily went through or not. And so that was an opportunity for students to add on, to clarify with those ideas. We put rock, sand, and soil all in one cup and we timed that one. Yes, and so that could help you clarify the statement. It didn't like take as long as clay because clay took a pretty long time, but it still went pretty slow through the glacier moraine. I agree with that. I'm pretty sure this one does go and agree. As a science community, if we're building our ideas and our arguments, having sources from a variety of different types of evidence would create a stronger claim. So you're going to go back to yesterday's work and be thinking about some of the evidence that you collected. It's important that you have one color or lots of colors? Lots of colors. Lots of colors to support that claim to make it stronger.
The sources of evidence could just be kids naming, this wasn't a personal experience, this was from an experiment. But rather than that, we're diving into the particulars of what did we learn from that personal experience and how does it sit up close, how do we juxtapose that to what we saw happen in an experiment. So it's in the weighing of it and evaluating of ideas. Evidence is, um, is like ideas from other things that can help support your claim, or it might be exper an experiment that you've done and you figured out the answer mm -hmm. to the question and to support that claim. I want to thank you for sharing and taking a stand today, and we'll continue thinking more, yes, and we'll continue thinking more about what's causing this.